Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here in Atlanta, British. In this video, we want to talk about one of the capabilities of the island in resetting the GEMS idle stop. You'll find that a lot of people have had this issue. Matter of fact, I've even had it with my own P38. All of a sudden, the vehicle has lost its ability to determine where idle stop is. So you end up either with a very high idle or a low idle, or it will vary. Um, I know there is an actual reconfiguration procedure you can use. It doesn't always work. Some once in a while, you're just going to get one that you just you need to hook up to it and reset it via a diagnostic tool. So this would be for the GEMS engines, basically 96 to 99, early 99, so mid-99 we went to Bosch, and that would be in the early P38, uh, discover, late Discovery 1, and quite possibly 97 uh, Defender that had the 4.0 GEMS engine. So what we'll do is we've set up, we've plugged in our dongle for our, this is the Android version of the iLand, We'll scroll up. So, of course, then now it's going to give you your choices. Just a reminder, ours are all in red only because this is a pro model. So, we're actually set up to be able to access all these different Land Rovers. If you've purchased an iLand that is designed just for one specific model, then just that one is going to be lit up in red. So, in this case, we have a Range Rover. Of course, you got to go through your garage disclaimers, they call these. Not a big deal. Showing that uh, for Range Rover, we have the latest version, so we don't need to do any updates. We'll hit confirm. Connecting to Bluetooth. All right, so then here are our choices up to 95 Classic, which would actually be a 14 CUX. So we're looking 95 to 2002 P38. We have the gem system in this. We'll make sure we turn the key on and we'll wait for the buzzer to clear and we hit OK and now we're going to set up and communicate with the vehicle so I'll read full code clear memory real-time display and what we're doing is we just want to do a reset so we go to vehicle maintenance and it'll tell you you need to follow the directions exactly as stated on the tool and we have actually you can do a renewal of the ECU, security reprogram, reset adaptions, which we did cover in another uh, another video, set vehicle type, and what we're looking for is reset close throttle. So essentially you're just going to hit this, you want the vehicle shut off, uh, key on, you should be in, so that'll put you in idle position, this is telling you what current steps are, this is what the stored voltage should be. So it says, please ensure throttle is closed during this operation. In other words, don't put your foot on the gas pedal or move that. Current throttle position is read from throttle potentiometer, basically your TPS, mounted on your throttle spindle. So it'll just read on and on through, and it'll just say both values are displayed as raw input. Please OK, press OK to exit. This just means exit the... So it, initializing ECM, please wait throttle fully closed throughout this operation so right now it's just it's doing the reset so that it's looking and telling the ECM what the voltage output should be for the stop at idle position so it says key off so we do key off we do OK this is going to have you wait 30 seconds while it resets It's kind of nice that it does the countdown for you instead of you having to stare at your watch. Okay, ignition back on. Let's wait for the buzzer to go off. And we hit OK. And that's pretty much it. We're all set. Now let's hit OK to exit. And we're done. So we'll start it up just to verify. We have a correct idle. Oh, and there we are. It's smoothed back out. And we're just a little around 600 RPM in neutral. When you put it in drive, it'll actually climb just a little bit. So now we're up at around 700. So we're good. 
So you can actually lose, or the vehicle can lose the ability to hold a steady idle if you change the throttle position sensor, the idle air control motor, sometimes even just changing vehicle battery or getting a low battery voltage situation that throws basically the system out of, out of whack. Um, so if any of those occur, and just the base, some of the basic, there are some procedures. I know some guys go online and you can find some basic procedures you can do it. But in a lot of cases, that won't fix it. So when you're ready to fix the idle problem in your GEMS engine, being either a 96 to 99 Discovery 1, a 96 to 91 Range Rover with the GEMS, or even the 97 Defender, you can just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at one 800 533-2210 or you can click on this link and order your ILA and diagnostic tool and if you like our how-to videos you can actually go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to that where we have a list of variable videos that will help you maintain and fix your Land Rover. So we thank you for watching and Rover on.